This video will help you to simulate rolling dice and recording the results. You will find the key steps on the screen and I will demonstrate them live. From the home screen, choose the Mathbox app and Dice Roll. You can choose between one and three dice. We will start with one die, so scroll down one line. The calculator calls a dice roll an attempt. You can enter as many rolls or attempts as you want up to 250. We will start with the default of five. Scroll down and choose execute. The calculator can display the results in two ways. First, choose list. The display shows the number of the upward face for that roll. The first roll was a six, the second roll was a five and so on. You can scroll down to see the full list of rolls. Now press back to return to the display choice. This time, scroll down and choose relative frequency. The calculator displays the frequency or number of times that each number occurred and their relative frequencies as a decimal. For example, a one did not occur, a two occurred once and a three occurred twice. The relative frequencies were zero, 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 respectively. Again, scroll down one screen to see the remaining faces. Press back to return to the input screen. This time we will choose two dice, so press OK and choose two dice. Let us also increase the number of rolls. Press OK and enter 15 for the number of attempts. Press OK or the Execute key to confirm. Scroll down and choose Execute. Once again, choose List for the display. The calculator displays each individual die in a column which are labelled A and B. Each attempt is on a separate row. You can see that, for example, on the first roll, the first face was a 2 and the second face was a 5. The sum of the faces for each attempt is shown in the next column and for the first roll was 7. The difference between the faces is shown in the last column and for the first roll was 3. The difference is always positive. As before, you can scroll down or use a whole screen to see other attempts. The calculator can summarize these results. Return to the display choice with back. Now choose relative frequency. There is a choice of sum or difference. I will choose sum. The table displays the sum of the two dice in the first column, the frequency of that sum, which is how many times that sum occurred in the middle column, and the relative frequency in the last column. It reminds you that there were 15 attempts. The display includes all possible sums from 2 to 12 that can possibly occur, even if they do not occur in this experiment. For example, the sum of 2 occurred once and the sum of 3 did not occur. The decimals can be displayed as fractions by scrolling to the decimal and pressing Format and then choosing Standard or Improper Fraction but notice the fractions are displayed in a single line, in this case, 1 15th. Scroll down each screen to see the remaining sums and their frequency. You can save each relative frequency to a memory store. For example, to save the relative frequency of the sum of nine, choose that relative frequency, press variable and choose a memory store. Now confirm with store. If you wish to store another relative frequency, make sure it is highlighted and then save it in the same way to a different memory. These memory stores can be used in further calculations in the Calculate app. You can also display the frequency of the differences between the faces. Press back and choose relative frequency and then difference. The differences from zero to five are displayed with their frequency and relative frequencies. For teaching purposes, you can force a simulated result, which is the same for every student. Press back twice to return to the input screen. Choose the number of dice and attempts, and then same result. Now choose option one, two, or three, and execute. 
These are simulated results and will produce the same results on each student's calculator so that you can use them for a discussion. For example, you could choose relative frequency and then sum or difference. The results will be the same for each option on all ClassWiz models. Probability simulation with dice rolls is a useful feature, so why not explore it?